Today marks a turning point that many people thought would never come. After years of uncertainty, speculation, and a mountain of skepticism, something extraordinary has finally happened. Aptera has secured the kind of funding that can carry them all the way into full-scale production. Yes, the kind of production that isn't about building a few units, but thousands upon thousands of highly efficient solar electric vehicles designed for real-world use. This update changes absolutely everything, and the implications are bigger than most people realize. Before diving into the details, it's important to understand why this moment is so monumental. For years, Aptera's biggest obstacle wasn't technology, innovation, engineering, or public interest. It was funding. Even after running one of the most successful crowdfunding campaigns in the history of EV startups, they still needed more capital to reach true mass production. People wondered whether they would ever cross that finish line or whether they'd be forced into the graveyard of failed EV companies. But now we have an answer. Aptera revealed that they've partnered with a major financial group willing to fund the entire path to production. Not a portion of it, not a temporary bridge, the whole thing. This eliminates the single largest question that has hovered over the company since its rebirth. Will they actually make it into production? And for the first time, the answer feels like a confident yes. What makes this even more fascinating is how this announcement arrives at a time when solar-powered EVs have been under heavy fire. Countless prototypes and concepts have collapsed before ever hitting the market. Critics insisted that solar mobility was unrealistic, unscalable, or simply too expensive. Many expected Aptera to join the long list of failures, to announce a bankruptcy, a shutdown, a desperate Save Us campaign, or some other unfortunate exit. But instead of fading into the background, Aptera is doing the opposite. They've attracted major investment from a significant financial partner, U.S. Capital Global, who has a long track record of funding successful ventures. When a group of that scale chooses to commit to an EV startup, it means they've analyzed the numbers, examined the risks, and concluded that this is a company worth backing. That alone says more than any press release could. It highlights an overlooked truth. Aptera's business model makes more sense than the rest of the industry. While most EV manufacturers rely on massive battery packs, which are the most expensive part of an electric vehicle, Aptera has engineered a product that does the opposite. It maximizes efficiency. It minimizes unnecessary mass. It delivers higher range with dramatically smaller battery packs. In a world where battery prices fluctuate and margins are razor thin, efficiency isn't just smart, it's the path to profitability. This is why the funding is so symbolic. It means an investor sees Aptera not as a risky experiment, but as a strategically efficient EV company capable of generating returns faster than traditional electric vehicle startups. And the confidence doesn't stop there. In this same update, Aptera announced something that many viewers didn't fully grasp the significance of. They are officially closing their crowdfunding efforts. This is massive. Crowdfunding has been a lifeline for the company for nearly three years, long before the Accelerator program and long before they had a clear production roadmap. Yet, despite the fact that they could continue accepting public investment, they've chosen not to. Why? Because they don't need it anymore. Closing crowdfunding sends a powerful message. We have secured the funding required to move forward. The next phase doesn't depend on small investments from individuals. It's backed by major capital. Knowing there's a firm cutoff date for crowdfunding also signals that Aptera is transitioning out of the startup fundraising phase and into the pre-production phase. They're not relying on goodwill, 
they're relying on real money from institutional partners who expect real results. And they're delivering those results. Their recent trip to the UAE showcased the Gamma prototype performing impressive test runs. Production intent battery packs are being tested, calibrated, and refined right now. The company is doubling down on 2025 as the year they begin high-volume manufacturing, not just assembling a handful of vehicles, actual, large-scale production. This is what makes the funding announcement even more exciting. It aligns perfectly with everything happening behind the scenes. The engineering is maturing. The prototypes are becoming production-ready. The supply chain is locking into position. The timelines are tightening. Everything is trending upward. But one major question remains, and it's the one everyone wants an answer to. What are the terms of this deal with U.S. Capital Global? Is it a debt deal? Is it an equity deal? Is it a hybrid structure? How much control does Aptera retain? What does the repayment schedule look like? What future commitments were made? Right now, we don't have those details, but speculation is more than welcome, so let's break down the possibilities. Scenario 1. It's a debt deal. If the funding came in the form of a large loan, it means U.S. Capital Global reviewed Aptera's finances, forecasts, cost structures, and production plans, and determined the company is likely to pay the loan back. No financial institution offers tens of millions of dollars unless they're confident in the borrower's ability to generate revenue. A debt deal would also mean Aptera retains most of its ownership structure. Shares held by early investors, supporters, and founders remain intact. Voting power remains within the original leadership, and future IPO shares remain largely available. This scenario would indicate massive confidence in Aptera as a company capable of standing on its own. Scenario 2. It's an equity deal. If U.S. Capital Global purchased a significant stake, that means they believe Aptera's future value is much higher than its current valuation. They wouldn't buy equity unless they expected the company's worth to multiply over time. Equity deals also remove the pressure of loan repayment, allowing Aptera to focus strictly on production and scaling. With fewer shares available at IPO, early investors might see share prices rise even faster. Both scenarios point toward the same conclusion. A major financial entity believes Aptera is poised for real success. And that's why this update feels so different from previous ones. This isn't a vague promise, an optimistic estimate, or a hopeful projection. This is a structural shift, a measurable turning point, the moment where Aptera transitions from a dream to an inevitable product. The company also reiterated its commitment to IPO around the time deliveries begin, something many EV startups failed to do. Others entered the public market long before producing a single vehicle, creating unrealistic expectations and volatile stock behavior. Aptera appears to be taking the smarter route. Prove the product, start deliveries, and then go public with real-world traction. This alone sets them apart in an industry full of premature IPOs. What excites people even more is what's coming next. Aptera confirmed that production-grade builds with finalized exteriors, interiors, powertrains, and systems are on the way soon. These upcoming models will demonstrate exactly what customers can expect as the company prepares to hit the assembly line. For many supporters, this is the moment that transforms belief into reality. So where does this leave us? It leaves us with a company that just secured major funding. A company closing the chapter on crowdfunding. A company with maturing prototypes. A company with an aggressive but increasingly realistic timeline for 2025 production. A company that finally feels like a true contender in the EV world. 
after years of doubt and speculation, the path ahead has never looked clearer. Now, the big question is, what do you think this funding means for Aptera's future? Do you believe this finally marks the beginning of the company's rise to mainstream success? Or do you think the EV market has more challenges ahead? Wherever the industry goes next, this moment, right here, feels like a milestone that people will look back on and say, that's when everything changed.